Alrighty. Why do you think they included Jesus in this film? Well, they showed him in the beginning of the movie, so they would have to wrap up his life, I guess. But why did they put him in there? Because they could. <laughs> and maybe it's like, to show that hope exists, good exists, example, right? example exists. Uh, how did Judah change throughout the movie? Uh, he started off as, he said he's not a vengeful man, but as the movie progressed, he started to be one. <coughs> it was good, then it was bad, then it was good, and then good, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think he changed uh, because of the emotions and he feels like he's lost his father. Yeah. 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 What was the symbolism of the different colored horses? I suppose black for evil and white for good. Yeah. It kind of put point off what Josh said. It's like, why, why would they put Jesus in white if he was a bad person? But he is a good person, so they put him in white. Like with the brown horse and all that, I think that's just like they're kind of good but not like they're not bad, like neutral, but not good. So, yeah, I think they're more neutral like, yeah. with the other colors. I also think it foreshadows like what's going to happen because the dark horse is the person bad and the white horse is the person one. I think that it's just important to remember that. Where do we get these symbols from? So why do we think that black is going to be necessarily bad and just because you're white or you're on a white horse you're going to be good? I mean, it's really where it comes from. So I just keep this in the back of your mind. Um, why, why do we equate things like that? I think we all kind of know why, but it's definitely in the media all the time. Um, why did Judah give Masala a knife? Is it, is it because it's a weapon and it's like a war symbol or a death symbol or something? It certainly wasn't a flower. It was like a just kind of taunting it. <clears throat> um. What is the symbolism of water? Life. Solid. Purity. Both cleanliness. Purification. Water is going to be a symbol in a lot of films coming up from now on. So water, you guys are really right. That's a good question to ask. What's the symbolism of water? Um, what did Masala mean? Whatever he said, the race continues. And so, like, when Judah said to Pontius Pilate that it's not because of Mesala, but like it's all consequences of the Roman Empire. So, like, the race wasn't between Mesala and Judah. It was between, let's say, um. Uh, the oppressors, Roman Empire, and the other people. Why didn't Jesus ever talk, and why didn't they show his face? It's so hard to put like a face and voice on. Why did Masala want to see Judah one last time? They were not enemies. 
Yes. Could you tell him the truth about uh, his mother and sister? It, it seemed to me like, why would you do that? Like, you were best friends, then you became enemies. I mean, why did he, he, he died right after he saw him. Why did he hang on like that to tell him? Isn't that the worst thing to find out? It would have been better to find out they were dead than that they were lepers almost. So, I mean, maybe you think it was a nice thing that he did, but was it a nice thing that he did? Or was it just one more way to keep the race going and, and like, you know, Elshon said about just kind of this battle continues, the fight. I was, uh, I'm thinking that like even though Judah won the chariot race, that Masala was still like trying to get the last word in, trying to know that he he still won by knowing where <coughs> the mom and sister was at. Yeah, it can be interpreted in, in two ways. Uh, what's the significance of Jesus giving Judah water? Back a lost debt. Okay. In what ways did Judah rep uh